What's up everybody, DJ Numismatics, and I'm back with a circulated box quarters here. Timestamp says July 32nd. That just don't make no sense to me, 2020. Hmm. Fishy. I guess maybe we'll find some West Points in here from 2020. You never know. Let me go ahead and pop this open real quick. And I'm not seeing anything that screams silver, so I'll be checking. That one sort of does, but I don't think it is. I will be checking for silver, of course. Varieties. West Points. And NIFCs. When I say NIFC on quarters, I'm meaning from 2012 to present. The America the Beautiful series. San Francisco minted uh, business quarters, so... That being said, after I pull these flaps off, we will jump into roll number one. We're on roll 20, and we've got an estimate mark. Let's flip it over and see what we got. San Francisco Minute and IFC. 2020 American Small. First find of the box, other than I did find this is a 1995 Philadelphia. I'll throw it under the scope and sh show you what it is. I used to keep these, but I don't keep them anymore. If you look right there on the wing, left side of the wing, there's a die break on it. And it stretches through the N and over into the U. I'm pretty sure this becomes a cut at one point in time. And I'm pretty sure I can find this die break on cuts, of, cuts on coins. So this one will be going back into circulation. I no longer keep them anymore. I've got a bag full of these that are at one point in time I thought were collectible. But unless it's the proper die break, which I don't think this one's going to be. I think this is just an interior die break, so it'll be going back to circulation. All right, let me move on to the rest of this roll. We're on roll 31, and if you look right there, we've got a proof back staring at me. Let's flip it over and see what we got. Oof. Definitely has seen somewhere. We got a 1990 S minute proof. That's in pretty horrible shape. But that's one NIFC San Francisco and one proof San Francisco. Wish it was in a little better shape, but I'll take a proof. We're on roll 36, and we are going to have S. Mintmark number 3. This time, not a proof. This would be the NFC versions. Let's flip and see what we got. It's like the San Francisco Minute 2019 San Antonio Missions. San Francisco Mintmark number 3. We're on roll. What oh, is that? I do believe 43. And we got another S. Not approved, so we got another business strike. S minted. Let's flip and see what we got. River, no return. That's the fourth S of the box. And. Is that AP? Let's check. It is. We'll just look real quick to see if we got the Spitting Eagle, which we don't. And a New York. Alright. Let me go ahead and grab another roll. We're on the last roll of the box. And 
We're gonna get at least one more S in this box. Sure wish these were all W's, but let's flip it over and see what we got. It's a 2018 Cumberland Island. San Francisco number four. Well, the only other thing I'll show you real quick is a, if we can find it here, right here. If you look, this is a homestead quarter right above the pump there. I've only got one hand, so I can't point it out, but you can see that line inside that windowsill. It is one of the many DDRs you can find on the 2015 Philadelphia Cumberlands. One of the die markers is snow on the roof, but it doesn't have that. Maybe a few early stages, but nothing to write home to. Uh, I didn't take the time to check which DDR that is, but it is a DDR, so we got a variety. And then I mentioned in the last clip that we had just got four, but it was five San Francisco minute quarters, one being approved, and then a stack of bicentennial. Uh, Denver Mints to check for DDRs. None of them had them, but and they're all in pretty tough shape So they're gonna go back into circulation since we didn't find nothing major in this video. I'm gonna run around tomorrow and see if I can't scrounge up another box and make this a two box hunt. So until then I'll see you next time Well, I'm back with another box of quarters to pair with that last search if you remember correctly we got a bunch of uh, San Francisco business strikes and a San Francisco proof in that one. So I will crack in to this first roll right away. I'm not seeing nothing that says silver. There's definitely some circulated stuff as you can see. Some of them have seen better days. So let's start cracking and hopefully we score something more than just a San Francisco business strike in this one. Well, we're through the first 10 rolls and I didn't come across a whole lot. I came across a a, great, a grease strike through here. This is a 2014 The Arches Utah Quarter in the front, if you look, so it's missing quite a bit, or I shouldn't say missing, the strike on In God We Trust is really light, and the P mint mark is almost gone. I probably won't keep this one, it's in pretty rough shape. We also got a 95 P with a die break. I'll flip it over and put it under the scope and show you. We've got a 2000 New Hampshire with a die break. I will put that one under the scope for you as well. And then we also got a 96P with a die break. I will go ahead, set up my tripod, and uh, show you under the scope. This one is the 95. Let me flip it. And if I remember right, this one has a die break up here. And if you look, let's see if I can point it out for you here. Right here, through the M, I do believe it exits right up here. You can see it comes down through here, goes across the wing, comes out. It's pretty hard to see in here, but this is actually a die break that runs all the way over to the head of the. There we go. That's a little better. Comes across. Runs through here to the head of the eagle. And I think at one point it exits right here at the tip of the beak and then runs back up. I do believe this one eventually becomes one of the, the major cuds of this, this year. That's for the 96. You can see right down here. It starts here. Runs up through the R, it comes up, it curls, and I do believe it'll eventually come back over in here. You can look these uh, varieties up on 
cuds for coins. I do believe this becomes a big cud here. I'm going to have to look it up and see if it's a, a valuable coin or if it will sell for, for any kind of profit and uh, maybe list it. And as for the New Hampshire, you can see there's a crack. Starts here. Runs down through the coin. I do believe it's kind of circulated, but I do believe this it runs down through here. I didn't see no exiting on this side, so I'm pretty sure it stops inside the old man mountain. So that's a pretty interesting coin, too. I might try to see what I can get for that on eBay. We'll see. All right, let me get back to the hunt. Well, we're down to the last 10 rolls, and I just put a bunch under the scope. I didn't find a whole lot. I got a small stack there, as you can see, of bicentennials that are in pretty good shape. Well, we had a 95, a 96, and now we've got a 97 Philadelphia. And this one here, let's see if we can see it without going under the scope. No, we're going to have to throw it under the scope. Give me two seconds to set up the tripod and I'll show you what it is. As you can see, a lot like the 96, I do believe. You can see the die break starting right here. Runs through the M. Across the wing, you, of course, because of the circulation, you can't see that anymore. But, comes across to his head. And I do believe, you can barely see it, it comes across... It ends right in that area. And if I remember right, there's one that has a whole cut across the top. And I'm pretty sure this eventually turns into the cut. Pretty interesting die break, if you ask me. And fairly pronounced, too. I'll put these aside. I might look a little bit closer into them, like I said on the last clip there, that cuds on coins might explain if this becomes a cud or if it's just one of the interior die breaks or shattered dies, I think they call them. I don't know. We'll find out. Let me go ahead and finish up with these last 10 rolls. Well, for a two-box hunt, I would say it wasn't too bad. This hunt, we got that 96 or 95, 6, and 7, the die breaks on the reverse there and then we also got that uh, New Hampshire die break and on the previous hunt well I did come up with some better looking bicentennials out of this hunt this hunt I only got one 2010 to add to my collection we got the four San Francisco minted business strike quarters the 2018 the two 219s and the 2020 and then we of course we got that proof that doesn't look so proof like anymore well at least the front anyways the back is still pretty decent so for two boxes no west points no silver no major major varieties but still it was a fun hunt so like always i'm gonna post a link right up here some of my uh finds make it to ebay so check out my ebay site maybe there's something you need or want I try to price everything fair, so tomorrow it's supposed to be 80 degrees here, and I'll be packing up an old house of mine and putting it in storage, so that will be a nice treat. I'd rather be fishing, but packing works too, so hope everybody's being, staying warm, staying safe, and uh, I guess until next time, hopefully your hunts are happier than mine. See you next time. Here we go.